So, you live in the ruins? Yes. It makes it easier to defend the core of the mountain from wrongdoers outside. Most of the monsters decided to live deeper in the mountain. Do they stay in the mountain? Not really. There are many tunnels and shortcuts that lead to the outside. Oh, I think we found one of them in Waterfall. Ah, yes, one of the more dangerous ones. Probably best that children didn't use that one. There are many other safer ones. Yeah. Um, when you say you're defending the core of the mountain, do you mean the core? Like, past Hotland? Yes, humans have been rather curious about our energy source. They would like to have it as well. Why don't you maybe share some with the humans? That's what we did in our world. Ah, we are of the same mind then. Um, if you could, please keep your voice down in this hall. The echo flowers kind of creep me out, so I'd like to keep them quiet. I have suggested that. Unfortunately, I was told it is more complicated than that. Gaster had only intended monsters to use our energy, not humans. Gaster? Who's Gaster? Um... Hey, look! There's a house! What a relief! You live here? Yes, both my brother and I. The king and queen used to live here long ago, actually. Why are there echo flowers everywhere? That... is an excellent question. Does your world not have them everywhere? No, just in Waterfall. Shame. I would have much preferred that. Anyway, welcome to our humble home. Sans, we have guests. Sans? How are you feeling? <sighs> Fine. All good. Where'd you go? Well, humans had come and- What? Uh humans came here? What? <sighs> Why didn't you wake me up and tell me? Because you're still recovering, duh. <sighs> Was Undyne with you at least? Uh... Hmm? Oh, where are my manners? This is MK. MK is a bit out of sorts at the moment. And this is... Um, wowie, this is embarrassing. I don't think I caught your name. Azriel. My name is Azriel. Huh. Nice to meet you, Azriel. Well, I'm going to bring MK to the spare room. Perhaps you and Asriel can chat for a minute. You want to sit down, kid? You look like you got something to get off your chest. Uh. Hey, no need to be nervous. I don't bite. <sighs> hmm. So, what's your story? Uh, I don't know where to start. Hmm. Sandwich? Um, thank you. How about I start instead? Where'd you come from? I have a feeling you're not supposed to be here. We're not. We're not from this world. Yeah? Can I ask what world you're from then? It's almost the same, but not quite. Alright. How'd you get here? We walked through a mirror. Or a portal? I don't know what it was or why it was there, but it led us here. We tried to go back, but the door that led to the mirror disappeared. We have no way of contacting our families back home. Now MK's hurt, and I don't know what to do. Frisk, our friend, they were taken by the humans. We have to get them back. Frisk is a human, huh? right? How did you know that? Do you know Frisk? Sorry, I don't. It was just a hunch. But, uh, listen. Crossing the humans' territory is... Well, it's a very bad idea for monsters. It'd be almost impossible to get Frisk back without someone getting hurt. Or worse. Are you saying... You're not telling me that we should just leave them, are you? I'm sorry, kid. I don't know what to tell you. But, you know, you're with other humans. It won't be so bad for them. Those humans aren't their family. We're their family. We have to get them back. Frisk would do the same for us. Okay, I'm not going to sugarcoat this for you. Unless you have a way to cheat death, they will kill you. Believe me, we've tried to reason with them. 
Humans have been taught by other corrupted humans for hundreds of years to never trust monsters. No matter what we do, humans see us and our actions as harmful. Perhaps you've already seen this side of them. But it's possible we could... I mean, I can't promise anything, but... All right, MK is all tucked in, and I had set up the bed in the same room for you, Ezreal. I think it would be best if you also went to rest for a while. We can talk more about this tomorrow, okay? <sighs> okay. Let me show you where you'll- No, it's okay. I know where to go. Wow, he's been here for ten minutes and you've already upset him? Yeah, my bad. Uh, I think we need to discuss something, perhaps. been through a lot. This is a big mountain. I'm sure they had just gotten lost somewhere. I do not think so. You listened to the Skeleton Brothers, right? Both of them saw the children turn the corner, and they disappear without a trace. There is nowhere for them to go. There is nowhere for them to hide. Not even Dagaressa and Dagami could find them. Their scent just stops around that corner. Their phone is still not working. It could be anywhere. I cannot do this again, Escort. I cannot lose my children again. Tori, we'll find them. I can feel it. Asriel is okay. I know you can feel it too. Surely the others are also unharmed. You underestimate Asriel and Frisk. We need to be strong for them. I heard the young prince Asriel. He was talking to someone. Huh? Bro, I think you should rest for a while. If I'm correct, which is very likely, they will locate the echo flower that has my voice, wherever they are, and they'll be able to respond. Come on, we've been searching all night. You I'm not going anywhere until I get a response. You might have just heard their conversation when they passed by here or something. No, no, it wasn't like a usual echo. It was faint. It was like... Underneath the usual echoes. It had to have been them. Underneath? Yes, listen! What exactly did you hear? Stop talking, just listen! Why don't you maybe share some with the humans? That's what we did in our world. Why don't you maybe share some with Do you hear it? Yeah. That's... weird. So it's reasonable to assume that it would be the same wherever they are. Except they would hear our echo faintly beneath theirs. So we just need to wait for a response. I, I don't know if they would hear it, perhaps. But... Well, we might as well give it a shot, right? Why don't you maybe share some with the humans? That's what we did in our world. 